So it's December 2021. We are anchored here in the Western Caribbean in Panama. So soon you will ask why do we see Umadum in Madagascar if they have been there in 2017? No, it's easy to ex explain actually because we never had the time to make a film about the island of Madagascar, which is maybe one of the best cruising grounds of the world. So, let's look back uh, to the time of 2017, uh, to, to our normal world, uh, with the lemurs, with the whales, with a classical concert on the top of the mountain, with a local fiestas, and, and why uh, you should take your time uh, while cruising. This is Tali from Russia. This is Gunda from Austria. <laughs> We started the Indian Ocean crossing in Malaysia. We went over to the uh, island of Sumatra, went down outside Sumatra till we found the wind and then the real ocean crossing started. Uh, we made a repair stop in Chagos, uh, spent there a week or two and went on to the north tip of Madagascar. And we arrived to the red island of Madagascar after 4,000 nautical miles at sea. This uh, north tip of Madagascar, Cap d'Ambre, is very, very well known for pretty high waves, huge waves. There is a current going on the west side, there is a current going on the east side. They meet on the top, at the same time it bends over to East Africa. And this makes enormous waves. Uh, the trick is, uh, you go not to the, directly to the tip, you go 10 miles south, you go really close to the coast on the 20 meter line. It's a bit scary because uh, you already see the reefs under your boat and uh, there along the coast the waves are not this bad. In the last days we had steady 35 knots of wind and we were doing steady 14 knots of speed. I was a bit concerned uh, uh, to round uh, this uh, cape in these winds, uh, but we were really uh, lucky uh, in the morning of uh, approaching the wind came down to around 20 knots and we had a quite easy uh, rounding. Cap Tambre, northern point of Madagascar. It was a rough trip, rough. But, but nice. But good. And then was a smooth ride in the wave shadow of the island. Fun sailing towards to our first anchorage, sheltered anchorage where we could have a rest. After three days of rest, uh, we uh, started sailing south. Uh, good wind, flat seas, what a fun to sail there! Uh, sometimes we alternate our course uh, to sail near to the reefs uh, for very good and successful fishing. So, Sp spaghetti langoust, recipe from Italy, 
with wine and cognac flambe. We arrived in uh, the town Hellwil on the island of Nosy Bay, uh, which is uh, for, I don't know, 200 miles around, the only uh, bigger settlement. Most of the transport is uh, done by traditional sailing vessels. There are no engines and uh, these people are oh, very, very, very good seamen. And for sure, it wouldn't be Omadum sailing without cooking. Octopus, wonderful octopus for Gunther's birthday. These three nice black ladies with which come to our boat, they knew exactly that it was my birthday and my favorite food is octopus. And we will cook the noodles in the water where we cook the octopus here. It's dark red from the octopus. And this will give the noodles a real, real distinctive taste. Happy birthday, Gunther. Thank you, madam. Today 
we are making pelmeni, fish pelmeni with waffle. And that's a group of coral trout, uh, one of the really absolute wonderful reef fish. And you don't want to be uh, have your fingers into his teeth. They are razor sharp. Imagine the Indian Ocean, the big island of Madagascar, on the northwest tip of Madagascar, the little island of Nosy Bay. And on this island uh, there is the Mount Paso. And on this mountain there was a classical concert. We didn't go there in the Mercedes or in the Bentley. Uh, we came to the festival in the Tuk Tuk. This piano is a yeah. vanilla hotel piano. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it follows us in all the hotel we play every evening. We change every evening. And he arrived with a piano because he is a guy who fixed the well song. Because every time we move the, the ropes or the. That's you know. what I was wondering. <laughs> And what's the special on this festival? Uh, the fact that um, most of the time you you're asked to do what they call here fusions. It's, it means uh, to play with to play with other people, of course, but in ensemble. So you're invited as an artist or as a group, but you end up playing with everybody, and that's uh, quite rare for a classic music festival. Usually, uh, it's uh, most like that in jazz or in world music, or well, you play your concert, and afterwards there is jam session, as you said earlier. But um, in classical music, usually everybody plays their own side, and maybe you play one piece together, and that's it. That's all. Here you will see tonight. Uh, I hope you can stay for the concert, of course, but you will see that um, this is not how it happens here, because you end up playing with everybody.
the festival, I think, um, is the best event of classic music at Madagascar and all the Indian Ocean. It's the first reference about it. Why is the best? Because there's not anyone before. So every time there's one thing, it must be the best. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the special? Uh, Sorry? What's the special on this festival? Everything. The public, the musician first, the singer, the public, you, me, he, her. Everything is there. <laughs> you see, we try every year to put, include the new things, but always staying in the classic mood. And uh, from which countries these musicians come? So there's uh, Fabien, the dancer, she comes from France. Esbieta and Rudy come from Belgium. The other come from Madagascar. And two of them come from Nusibi. I live here, so here I have no contact, but uh, since the development of uh, Lucibe Symphony, I can uh, play with them. Yeah. Okay. What is the spirit of this uh, movement is that uh, today there is a fusion, a mix, we mix uh, our talent. Uh, I know Salzburg, Kitzbühel, got friends with Andreas, uh, the Austrian guy who is living in Madagascar for many years and he invited us to go with him uh, over the mountain to another small village where was big fiesta this night. How was the trip to the party? Horrible. It's going up. This is only the first part. Let's make the, the next picture uh, up there. Here we are now. On, on the top of our trip across the hill we go on the other side to the Mozambique channel to the village Mangira Kirina this is for some people the only chance to get some beef because many of of this native of, of the natives people here they, they have no 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 meat okay. they only eat fish and, and ducks and chicken so Two times it is possible that's the reason why they are slaughtering three cows. So poor people can eat two times per year beef. And they are coming from where it is? From, Only from this? From this area uh, around let's say 10 kilometers. How did you how did, how did you know today about this fest? The chairman of the community come, also came to me and uh, and he invited me be, because he's a friend of mine and, and, he, and he said please it would be a great pleasure if you come to our to our to our as a fete because this is a local fete there are no no other tourists or or as a as us this is only for the local people so so it's a great pleasure for for us too to as a, as a come to this party so you are local now yeah, more or less, I'm local, yes. They also call me Vazaha Malagash. You want to say something, huh, please? I have to say something, yes. Yep. Uh, the food was wonderful and delicious. Rice and soup and cow 
uh, we wanted to know the reason for, for, for the fiesta today. What is it? Okay. Ulu, the This is a, a special party because in traditional three years after a person died they have to make this party. It's a remembering of it's a remembering, mm -hmm. it's a kind of remembering this this person. <laughs> and it's happy to to uh, meet the people like like we are, like so the uh, foreign people, also coming here and to and and they want to to know about the life of the Malagash people. They do not want only to implement something, they only want to participate. And that's and that's also makes him also happy. It was pitch dark. Uh, there should be music. Uh, the generator somehow didn't work, the music machine didn't work. Everybody was waiting patiently. And then some women started to sing and clapping hands. It was something incredible, just unbelievable atmosphere. And this is why you should take your time when you when you are cruising. Not visit every island, every anchorage, every touristic spot, every dive spot. If you stay just for one night, it will never happen. It will never happen uh, these adventures like we had. And for us, this is the highlight of cruising. Meet local people, get into local culture and taste local food. Uh, we made two films about cooking in Madagascar with Pauline and her daughter Andrea. You can find these films in our channel. So, we make a cooking uh, video today. What will we cook? We will cook um, fish with a coconut, Malga specialty, and banana with coconut. This is uh, some dessert. And uh, to start, a uh, mango salad. And what would be a film about Madagascar without the Lemurs? They only exist in Madagascar. <laughs>